Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Dad's Advice. We've been using the Baby Zen Yo-Yo newborn pack for a couple of weeks now and here are the top 5 things I wish I knew before purchasing. And while you're here why not check out my other videos on the setup of the newborn pack and also how to attach your baby car seat to the Baby Zen Yo-Yo. Without further ado, let's get into it. First on the list is the newborn rain cover. This is a fantastic product, especially for us because we live in such a wet environment. Now, the issue with this is it doesn't quite fit over the newborn pack and it can let a little bit of moisture in. Here you can see me fitting it over the top of the newborn pack with the Velcro strips on the sides and some little rubber bands on the sides as well, just to keep that all secure. Now, where it lets the moisture in is here and here at the front of the pram and where the Velcro meets the handrail. Now the big issue here is as you try to cinch it down at the front there, it tends to undo the Velcro strips where it meets the handrail. So you can either get wet on the front or you let moisture in at the handrail. I've really tried to solve this problem as I've walked through the park, but it just always rides up and it can be quite frustrating. Second on the list is the fold down. Don't get me wrong, this is a wonderfully compact pram and it's very, very useful for us that live in a very big city. Now, the issue I have with this is when you do fold it down, sometimes the wheels get stuck in the wrong position and you really have to push it into place to get it to click in and not unfold while you're carrying it up a set of stairs or something. Here you can see I've had to lay the pram down on its back and I push very, very hard to get that wheel into the correct position and then it finally clicks into place. Having said that, once this is clicked into place, it's perfectly useful and you can pop it over your shoulder and carry it up a set of stairs if need be. Number three is the handle. As you can see here, when you pick it up, there's no actual clip to put the handle in place. So you really need to make sure that the pram is facing in the right direction against your body to stop that handle folding down. I've been halfway up a set of stairs before and that handle's folded down, uh, which can be a bit of a pain, but it's a pretty easy fix. Number four is the car seat fitting. This has been one of my most frustrating issues because we jump in the car quite regularly. On the website, you can see that basically the newborn pack folds in and then you can pop your car seat on top with the car seat adapters. This is just simply not the case. It's a lot more involved and you've actually got to take off a number of sections to get that to work. So as you can see, there's just a lot of padding between the adapter and where the car seat will clip on. So I'm popping the car seat on the top here and you can see there's just not enough room to get that car seat to move down and clip into place. So you have to remove a bunch of that padding. I then thought it was a case of just removing that outer layer of the newborn pack, which is the uh, area that keeps your baby warm and then refolding it back on. So just for demonstration, I've shown that here and you fold that back into place. But then again, there's just still too much padding to get that car seat to fit on top there. So you have to actually take out the smallest layer, which is quite an involved process where you take out all of those straps and things like that to get that off uh, the newborn pack. So once you've gone through that quite lengthy process, it works perfectly well. The car seat fits on top perfectly. Having said that, I think I've come up with a better solution for this and that's to remove the newborn pack entirely so the car seat sits directly onto the baby zen frame. Again, I've sped this up a little bit, but as you can see, I'm just undoing all of the clips, so the two on the bottom, the two on the side, the two at the front, and then also the one that has the hood, and you can remove all of that and take that off, and then it just stays in one sort of self-contained unit, so you can pop that in your car, throw it in a backpack or something like that, and it will stay perfectly clean and usable. And that's the way I found it best to work. Here you can see the full unit and it just folds up nicely. Now, then you're left with just the pram frame basically, and you can pop that car seat right on top there. For me personally, I think this is the best way to do that and you should just give it a try, but definitely something to be aware of before you buy the newborn pack and the car seat adapters. And finally, number five, the fold down and adapters. So this area for me was a real disappointment because when you take the car seat off, 
you actually can't fold the baby Zen yo-yo down into its absolute smallest form. As you can see here, the car seat adapters are on. I fold that hand rail down and then boom, it can't go any further. For me, that's a severe limitation. But again, I've come up with a bit of an ad hoc solution for this where you basically keep the adapters in the car seat uh, as you take that off. So this is really useful if you're say, walking into your flat or something like that and you move those car seat adapters off the pram entirely and they stay clipped into the seat and then it can fold down into a really small form. This does impact you putting the car seat into the actual car so you'll have to remove those so it still is a bit of a pain but it's a reasonably good solution and again it folds up really well and really easily. And that's it guys, that's my five things. I hope you really uh, found a bit of value in this video and please stay tuned for more and definitely check out my setup videos and everything else that we 